Hello everyone, my name's Jim Bob. How the hell are ya? As a request from my friend on Instagram, I'm going to give you my review of an action series that I've never seen. The Raid 1 and The Raid 2. People praise John Wick all the time for its incredible action, and while I agree that John Wick has some of the best action ever put to film, and come on, how is this man not breathtaking people, come on. But after seeing the Raid movies, all I want now is a crossover. Make it happen, Hollywood. The Raid was released in 2011. Man, that was the year I started college. Why have I never seen this movie until now? This movie stars Eko Uwais as a rookie police officer named Rama. As he and 20 other armed men attempt to storm a drug criminal run apartment building, which has been a now-go zone for the police for years. Through determination to see his wife one more time and to be there for the birth of his son, Rama and the others fight for their lives, floor by floor, trying to reach the big boss himself. I'm going to start by saying that this movie is awesome. The action is so goddamn entertaining, and in my opinion, it's filmed and choreographed better than John Wick. I've stated before in movies like this that sometimes it's nice just to sit down and watch a movie with a really simple premise. You don't have to use too much pairing your brain to focus on an overly complicated plot with a lot going on. This movie is simple and straight to the point. 20 cops go into an apartment building run by criminals, and when they're caught, it's a battle of survival. That's it. Nice and simple. As a person who's watched great action movies like Mission Impossible, which do have complex plots, it's nice to see something which is easy to follow. Iko Uwais is absolutely brilliant as Rama. You can tell he's given it his all in this film. The action almost looks real to the point where it actually seems like these characters are hitting each other. The film goes to extreme lengths with its violence, and oh my god, it's so entertaining, I found myself grinning at the screen and I couldn't help but go. <laughs> Every time Iko Yuei has performed an awesome kill. And with a person like me, I have a very dark, twisted sense of humour, so I loved everything about the action. It's so well choreographed, so well filmed, and I was glued to the screen from beginning to end. The film also doubles up on its suspense as well as the action and violence. One scene in particular where Rama and his friend have to hide inside a wall to avoid one of the bad guys. This bad guy sticks a huge machete right through the wall and it just clips the side of Rama's face. And at that point, Rama's so desperate not to be caught or spotted, you can feel the chills running down your spine. So do I think The Raid is a better movie than John Wick? It's a tough one. John Wick definitely has the better story and world-building aspects, but The Raid is a clear winner for me with its premise and action. The Raid was everything I wanted in an action movie and more, so The Raid gets an A+. The Raid 2, funnily enough, came out the very same year as John Wick, yet John Wick was the one that was praised for being the best action movie of the year. Now The Raid 2 is still a very good movie and the action is still very good from beginning to end. It has an epic car chase scene, brutal one-on-one -on -one fights and extreme violence. There was just something about it though that didn't quite click with me like the first one. Now I can acknowledge that the reason may be because I literally watched The Raid 1 and then the second one the following day so maybe I expected something a little like the first Raid. Like The Raid 1 is much easier to watch and much more rewatchable than the second one. But again, not that the second one's a bad movie, it's not. The Raid 2, from a story perspective, is a bit different. All that simpleness that the first movie had is completely gone. They've expanded on everything by, like, a hundred. The Raid 2 is basically a bit a long feud between two crime families, and Eko Uwais is caught in the crossfire. And my problem with this movie is it's too goddamn slow. The first hour and a half, minus a few good action scenes, can be pretty boring. I understand that it was necessary for the story they were trying to tell, but I think there's just too much focus on the 10,000 new characters they brought into this film than our actual hero. Yes, I'm exaggerating slightly when I say 10,000 new characters, but what I mean is that there's too much screen time devoted to this guy in particular, his name's Yuko. Though his story is very good and interesting, and I can appreciate it. He's this guy who's struggling with the way his crime boss father does things and runs the business, and while all of that is done very well and it's very well stretched out, the focus seems to be on him and the crime family feud more so than Eco UAs. I mean, come on, movie. When the action does go down, it really does go down. But then the film will just cut to these crime boss families having meetings around fancy dinner tables, and I found myself getting really bored. Give me Eco UAs kicking ass man. I want to see him kick someone in the face, and I want that person to bleed all over the floor. That's what I want in, in a rave movie. I mean, even though this movie does give you a lot of that as well. Yes, I do like the more in-depth approach the film took, and a lot of other critics like this movie a lot. I'm not saying that I don't. I just think the movie is too slow at the beginning, and you feel as if you're waiting for stuff to happen. But it more than makes up for it in the final 30 minutes of the film, which is just non-stop action. And man, it's fucking brutal and excellently filmed. Eco Uwais may just be my new favourite martial arts actor. Like, sorry Jackie Chan, I'll always love you man, but Eco just owns these movies. 
Also, this guy in the ride too is the same actor as Mad Dog in the first movie, but playing a completely different character. And there's too many scenes dedicated to him as well, like a huge fight, yet great action scene, mind you. And then, what is supposed to be an emotional death scene, but the movie didn't give me a reason to care for this character, and it was just an odd choice to have the same actor play a different character. I know, it was, it was just a bit odd. I may sound like I'm giving this movie a hard time, but I honestly didn't dislike it at all. It's still a great movie. I just felt a lot of it could have been more heavily focused on Rama and less of these people having dinner and talking about stuff, and the movie is a little too long. But the action, when it goes down, it is awesome. And that is enough for me to like this film. And in some places, the action may be equally or, in fact, better than the first one. But overall, the first Raid film is the, definitely the better film. The Raid 2 gets a B-. minus. So those were my reviews of the Raid 1 and the Raid 2. If you like what you see, everyone, consider clicking that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Remember, it's not just a movie, it's an experience. Stay awesome, everyone, and have a good day.